All right. So, guys, we got a lot of stuff to cover today, and uh, we got an hour to do it, which means we're really going to break it down. Yes, we're talking about the Joker, because I did a review on it, uh, and I'm sure you guys have more questions, so I wanted to make sure I did a live one. And then also, we're going to be talking about Collider Live. There are some really big updates that if you guys watch the show today or you've been on social media at all, you definitely know about. So uh, we're going to break down all of that stuff. And then uh, we'll get to any other questions, comments, etc. you guys have. As you know, when I start the stream... Oh my god. Did I make the thumbnail for this a picture of my eyes? Tell me that I did not do that. How did I manage to fuck that up? It's literally... <laughs> Guys. Wow. Why is that thumbnail? Are you guys seeing that? Or is that just on my end? So effing crazy. Um, let me try to change that thumbnail right now as we're doing this. It's just literally a close-up picture of my... Oh no, it changed. It's not a close-up picture of my eyeballs anymore. Um, okay, so on the end it looks normal, great. On my end it was just a picture of my eyeballs like a psychopath. So I'm just per putting this right now in my Patreon and then I'm tweeting out the link so anybody can find it. Uh, but yes, we have tons and tons of stuff to go into today. So let's just uh, get on going. Looking at the chat right now, you guys know I give shout outs for the first couple minutes. Thank you uh, to everybody who is joining me in here. Let's see. Jonathan Donsell, Sean Quinn, NFL Caleb 22, Brandy, our amazing moderator, Christian Stileski. Uh, hey, what's up, man? Uh, Billy Paulhan, User One, Jake Yacoveta, uh, Sk Scott Lacey, Zeno Hour, Kenny Yu, Jean Paul Mantia, BZ Vlog, Susie Easton, Susie Raid, everybody, let's go. Jay Graw, Cutter Hale, uh, Dice Man 567, Mark M, Megan Ryan, uh, Wolf Bane, Motorola, Allison, Don Wooding, Pedro Hernandez, Zeno Hour, and Billy Belford, William Belford in the super chat, our first super chat of the night. What, what? Go, Billy Belford. RJ, oops, I can't call you that after the other day. I'll tell you guys why in a little bit. We discovered RJ has many different meanings. Woof. Matthew Gold, our other, other amazing moderator. BLTV underscore. Connor, Andrew Thomas, Matt Munoz, Ian Wilder, Saudi, who hasn't been here in a minute. Thanks for coming back, babe. Flintlock21, Ace Club96, Carlos Gazhane, Ryan Burzmato, Miral Gandhi. Uh, wow, guys, loving that this is filling up. The Patriot, 6969. Josh Bing in the super chat. What, what? I super chat on Campy's show all the time, so I figured I'd do it here to just to show my support for this channel, too. Hope you're doing well. Josh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. That's awesome. Uh, Geekicidal tendencies. So many of you joining right now, and I have a feeling I know why. Uh, probably a lot of Collider fans in the chat, so we can start talking about the Collider Live updates, and then of course I want to get to the Joker, some weekend updates also, so all different stuff. I'm live at 6 o'clock right now on this Thursday, trying to hit you East Coast slash other place people, so hopefully it's not too late wherever you are, uh, and as people load in, I'm sure that um, we'll get new, <laughs> I don't even know where I was going with that, new people throughout, that's how live streams work, rocks. Isaac, LLL78. Uh, Paul Denuzio in the super chat. What, what? Perfect timing this time. Paul, that never happens. I love that. Uh, Eric Opperman. Hi from Braintree. So cool. That's where my uh, dad and brother's office is. Braintree, Mass. Brandy says, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and get in those super chats to help our girl out. I appreciate that, Brandy, our amazing mod. Uh, it's only 8 here. My Joker showing is at 10.30. Good, so we'll get you out in time to get to Joker. Jew from Manhattan here. Been to parties with David Mazuz. Batman, I interviewed him, uh, Isaac. He's great. Dalton Johnson, did I miss you talking about what happened on Collider Live? No, you didn't. We're about to get right into that. Jake Yacoveta in the Super Chat. What, what? 
Well, there's Billy and Paul, so here's mine. LOL. I appreciate that, my love. Uh, Kristen Seleski, Roxy, love you, Joker. 10 out of 10. Hell yeah out of that. And we definitely will get to Joker. For anybody who doesn't watch Collider, no worries. Uh, you Either you don't have to necessarily listen to this, or it might just be interesting to know. So I'm going to talk about what happened on Collider Live, but I'm going to tell you the whole story so everybody's caught up and we all know what is going down. Um, so here we go. Collider Live, a show that I've been on since August of 2018. So that means a little over a year. Collider Live has been uh, one of the flagship shows. I was going to say the flagship show, but Movie Talk also of Collider. Collider, a network that I work for. Um, and it started back in 2018. And it was with Christian Harloff, Josh McCuga, Mark Riley, and myself. Uh, and also uh, Cody and uh, Christian Rubacaba was also there and Frank was there sometimes and all the other people in the uh, Collider offices, Roka would pop in, you know, everybody was making appearances on Collider Live back in the day. And it's been a show that went from being three times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We've grown a massive, incredible fan base that we're absolutely obsessed with. A lot of you guys are a part of that. And it's a morning show. We're live every single morning, 10 to noon, and it's been awesome. We have some of the hugest celebrity guests. Uh, we take phone calls. We have done uh, a ton of different things together, and it's been a great wild ride. And that ride is absolutely 100% without a doubt going to continue. And I'm really excited to be a part of that ride. We're going to keep up the show. We're going to uh, keep with that five day a week and uh, keep on kicking butt and have as big of celebrity guests in there as we've had previously and as raunchy and strange conversations as we've had. And we're going to be just as weird and crazy as always. But Christian Harloff, who has helmed the ship for the last year and a couple months, is going to be leaving the show. He's leaving not just the show, he's leaving Collider in general, and he has started his own network. Uh, shout out to SEN, Smodown Entertainment Network. And based off of where he needs to go for his future and where Collider needs to go for their future, the two different entities need to part ways. I love Collider Live. I love Christian Harloff. I truly, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, believe that both things can be incredibly successful and that fans can be fans of both of these places. Um, and I really do mean that. So that is what's happening. Christian announced today on Collider Live's show with Mark Fernandez, who is the runs all of Collider, that he would be stepping away um, as of November 1st, I believe. And that's what's happening. So now you guys are all caught up, whether you're Collider fans or not. Let's look what's happening in the chat right now. Um, curious what you guys are talking about. Matthew said, what do you think of the Collider news? You know, I think that it's, a, it's sad in some ways because I love Christian. I've loved working with Christian. Christian's the one who brought me onto Collider Live. Christian brought me onto DC Movie News back in the day. Christian brought me into the Schmoes. Christian and I will continue to work together, be friends. Um, move forward together, but it's also exciting because anytime big shifts happen in a show They really do get new blood and revamped and I'm excited to uh, See what direction this show takes with um, With Josh and Darina and Mark Riley and myself uh, Full force pushing through on Collider live. It'll be interesting to see where we go and I kind of think the possibilities are endless so for, for those reasons, uh, I'm feeling both uh, sad and excited about it. Let's see what else is going on in here. It's going to be my 50th birthday in three hours on the East Coast. Love Collider and now Roxy because of Collider Live. Thanks, Kenny. I appreciate that. Billy says, yeah, still sad about Christian, but I'm not going to stop supporting anyone. Uh, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, now I want to follow a other channel. Christian, which one? Greeny says, I think Collider will. You think Collider will what? Thanks for the recap, says Saudi. Uh, Collider Live is always during the night for me. Didn't have a chance to watch today's show yet. Saw the updates on social media, though. Gotcha, gotcha. Billy Belford, Phil Brooks is one of the best guests that you have had. 
That girl, that movie Girl on the Third Floor looks pretty good. You, Josh, and Mark did great Tuesday. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Talking about CM Punk. Uh, I got torn apart in the comments for that interview, but, like, they don't understand what I was doing, which is keeping him talking, which is how we got all that press, so fuck them, you know? Not fuck CM Punk. Fuck the guys that don't understand what I was doing. Um, Jonathan says, not surprising that Christina is going on a new adventure. It's only a matter of time. Oh, Christian? Yes. True. You know, he's been at the Schmodown stuff for a really long time, and, uh, it was kind of shit or get off the pot time for him. And he really needs to dedicate himself to it right now. So that is what he is doing. That is the step that he uh, and Mark Fernandez have decided is best to take. And I'm in full support of it. I'm in full support of Christian and what he needs to do and wants to do. And I'm also in support of Mark Fernandez. Uh, Fernandez, knowing that, that this is the right move. And for continuing to put support behind Collider Live. And I'm so grateful that he does see in me and Josh and Mark and Darina a massive show. And he knows that we have the ability to carry this torch and even make uh, a greater show one day as time goes on. And uh, that's pretty cool of him. So I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, Megan says, I'm gonna be really sad to have Christian leave because I think the current group has such a great dynamic. But I'll still totally watch, and hopefully the group is awesome, as always. I definitely think we will be. Christian says everything cannot be the same. That's true. Things won't be the same. That is true. Uh, it's understandable and kind of expected for him to take the leap and jump on new adventures. Saudi, I completely agree. Uh, I feel like the old guard has gone, says Dark Jedi Knight. Well, it depends on who are you considering the old guard. Like, you know, I've been with Schmoes for six years now. Josh for way longer. Uh, Cody and Christian Rubacaba are still at the office. Um, Riley is definitely old guard. You know, like, not really. It's not really. Uh, to be honest. Respect to how Fernandez has uh, and Christian handled the announcement with such mutual respect. Jake, totally on that one. Um, at least from what I've heard, honestly, I didn't watch, but I was in the room for a lot of these conversations, and that's that's how it's been so far. I will get pissed off if Roxy was leaving. Christian, thank you. I'm not. Collab will be successful because of you, says Sean. That's very sweet. I don't know about that. I'm going to miss Christian on live, but I think the show will be fine. Thank you, Greenie. Always better something new, says Christian. Cool. Appreciate that. Channel says, I'm pretty surprised and wondering what went on with their deal. I'm sure Mark must have offered him more creative control and money, so Christian Harloff must have a lot of confidence in, in making more money on them. Uh, channels, I'm not sure exactly what I'm allowed to say or what I'm not allowed to say, but that is definitely not what happened. Um, that's definitely not what happened. Uh, I think we're they were in a very mutual what they need to do to move forward place. Um, I'll just leave it at that. Mark says I'm the best part of Collider. I appreciate the support, friend. So you know how I will support both Collider Live and SEN, but I'm bummed about the whole thing. I really don't think there's anything to be bummed about. It's not like he's disappearing, you know? Uh, I, I really don't think so. What are your... Uh, no, I enjoy you and Koi Roxy, but Collider hasn't been at its peak since 2017 when you and Schnepp and Harloff, Ellis, and Campia era. Um... Well, when it comes to Schnapp, obviously, we all miss him, and there's nothing really you can do when there's a void like that. Uh, you know, it's like saying that Glee wasn't the same without Finn when Cory Monteith passed. Uh, there's always that void when, when it comes to Schnapp. Um, Campia, uh, he's off doing his own thing. I think that now he's going to be doing something with Christian, or at least I saw that uh, they posted together on Twitter today. I have no idea what's happening there. Uh, but if you guys want to check them out, you're always welcome to. It's not like they disappeared from the internet. And uh, we're all still going to be on Schmodown and seeing Christian, you know. Collider, I think, gets new blood all the time. Like, think about the new people that they've brought in there since then. I was brought in since 2017. Darina's been brought in since 2017. Perry was given a show, which is huge. I mean just talking about like the rise of women in the industry that's so cool that Fernandez has honored that um and I feel really grateful that he has brought us in uh so I, I don't know I, I love Koi as well 
and he's been brought in too. Um, I'm gonna miss the schmoes, Dark Jedi. They they still have there are still the schmoes. I just subscribe to your YouTube channel, Roxy, and always enjoy your IG posts. Thank you, BZ. Appreciate that. Um, on my end, it shows 120 people in the chat. Let's get those thumbs up, friends, and get those super chats in if you can. Yes, I really appreciate that. Uh, so definitely those thumbs up. Subscribe, rate, comment, all that great stuff. Super chat if you can. Is someone going to replace Christian, says Sky. As of right now, being fully transparent and honest, that is not the intention. Um, the intention is to keep the rest of the team there and to try to get us there as many days a week as we possibly can. Um, Josh, Riley, Darina, and myself are, are going to be the Collider Live core. And um, we're going to bring in a, a shit ton of guests. Uh, yes, celebrity guests, but also um, bringing in people to co-host the show with us as well. Some of your favorite people in the YouTube space. Always let us know what you're thinking, if there's somebody you really want to see on it. Now I'm going to have more ownership over the show, so I can really have a voice there and help with that, which is cool. People who understand interviewing understand exactly what you're doing. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate that. Show will continue to be awesome. Would love to see Koi on more in the future. Scott, I think that, you know, Riley, Josh, and I um, sat down. The only reason, the reason Darina wasn't there is because she wasn't there that day of the week. Talked about the people that we want to try to bring in more. Koi's name certainly came up. We all love Koi. We love working with Koi. He's an absolute joy. He's got the same energy as us, the same drive. So definitely we would like to see more of Koi as well. Um, you, Darina, and Cody are my favorite part of Collider Live. Thank you, Matt. Cody's not going anywhere to the best of my knowledge. So that's really nice too. Love having him. Um, have Paul Preston on Collider Live. Uh, really, I think he's got a lot going on right now, but... If he wanted to come on, we would be absolutely happy to have him on. Um, so Collider Live will still be fun. Can I come? The cheese and essay. Totally. Always. I'm going to miss the last schmo. Dark Jedi. He's not the last schmo. And he's not He's not leaving the internet, guys. Again, he's not leaving the internet. Lloyd Nance in the $10 super chat. Really appreciate it. Hi, Roxy. Hi, Lloyd. He also is the one who gave me my first super chat ever, so I appreciate that. Robert Hart says, glad you're all keeping the fans in the loop, and I think the show will be fine. Yeah, it was really important to Fernandez that we did that, that we kept everybody in the loop uh, and just made sure that they knew what was going on. May Roxy, I mainly watch now for you and Jarena and Koi, says Eric. That's great. I'm obsessed with uh, all those people. Everybody's got their favorites. That's how any show works, you know? It's why people have di favorite different friends or Seinfeld characters or any show. Everybody's got the people that they love. After following Schmoes and Collider for years, people come and go. You get used to changes. It's part of business. Sorry, completely. Absolutely. Not gonna lie, Harloff is the reason I'm so passionate about pursuing a career uh, and being a movie critic, but all the Collider people are, are some of my heroes. And I love Collider and I know the show. Cutter, he can continue to be the reason and I love that and that's so great. Christian has been monumental in my career. Like I said, Christian Arloff in 2014 put me on Schmoes No and the Schmoes No movie show. And my career started to really elevate. And then he put me on DC Movie News um, the next year. And I've been on it for five years. And DC became one of my main hosting concentrations, which helped me book so many other jobs. Um, which including my Screen Junkies gig and um, actually working for Warner Brothers DC and doing stuff for them um, and doing stuff with Nerdist and all of the places. That was so helpful there. And then he was the one who fought for me to be on Collider Live in the first place. So he's still a huge part of my career as well. And I'm glad he gives inspiration and passion to your career. And you should go support him if you love him at SEN. And you should continue to support us if you love us. Um, yeah, and that's hopefully the way it goes down. Collider fans in the super chat, are you going? Come on more Thursdays and Fridays. Again, being completely transparent with you guys, um, Fridays I am on Screen Junkies. And I've been with Screen Junkies for four years, more than four years now. I love them. Uh, and I would like to stay with them on Fridays because they are also one of my homes. Um, Thursdays? I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to the team and see what they want to do. 
and how we want to play this. So I will keep you guys posted about all of that. Obviously, you guys know things that it comes down to. Scheduling, finances, uh, chemistry, all those things. Who we're bringing in those days. So um, I will keep you guys posted on what my days are. Sky Morgan says, bring in Steph. She was great. Steph Sabra was also a name that came up in our meeting. We definitely intend on bringing her in more. Dark Jedi says, our name is Sinead, Ashley Nova, Natasha Martinez, and Amy Rose. All names that came up. We're planning on bringing in a ton of people now, guys. Jake Yacoveta and the Super Chat. It'll be nice to see you and Darina together more. That's what we're trying to do. I actually just got off the phone with Darina. Um, what I think we have a really cool opportunity to do is to have two girls on one show which in this YouTube space very rarely ever happens like if ever um, and that would be pretty amazing to accomplish so and Darina and I are obsessed with each other so that would be very very nice and we're really different than each other as well which is cool Alan Merced says in the super chat hey Roxy great to see you on again thanks Alan thanks for being here Austin says still excited for the future can't wait Austin, me too. Um, Draft House Game says, PT, uh, Patreon, DM sent. Thanks, Draft House. I know I owe you guys a response. Um, things are looking pretty good, though. This, one of the reasons I haven't gotten back to you guys was because of this um, Collider Live announcement, which is making it so my schedule is a little up in the air um, to try to keep it vague. But hopefully this week I'll be able to for sure figure out my shit. Um, Spooderman says, Roxy, will someone replace Christian? Uh, as I was talking about Spooderman, nobody is replacing him. Uh, as of now, at least, that's not what the conversations are. It's about being able to bring us on and more people on more often. And the four key players here being, uh, and I don't say key player, four key players, and I'm not thinking about Cody and Alex. Of course, Cody and Alex as well. I'm just talking about on air uh, because they're huge for our show. Cody and Alex are. Um, me, um, Mark Riley, Josh Makuga, and Darina. So that will keep going. I definitely second how much appreciation and transparency of the situation. Of course, there's stuff happening behind the scenes we don't get to see, but I like like to have Mark tell us the news. Thanks, Megan. I appreciate that. I like you because of your awkwardness and Darina because she's evil and Coy because of his positivity. Eric, that's great. Alan Rousset in the Super Chat. What, what? Only reason I started watching Cloud Live is because you're on it. I sample other days, but you're my draw. Thanks, Alan. Uh, appreciate that very much. I loved you on power levels today, says Jordan. Oh my God, it dropped today. I haven't even looked. Uh, power levels, that's so great. Which episode dropped for you guys today, Jordan? You could bring on Zia Anderson from After Buzz, Eric. Yes, she would be great. Brandon Davis, oh hi, from New York uh, Comic Con. Guys, my friend Brandon in the chat right now. It's a real life celebrity. You can see him on the commercials for Joker, uh, calling it in, something film, incredibly, in, something, something, whatever. They use his quote in their marketing from comicbook.com, which is fucking epic. Go, Brandon Davis. Uh, I wish that I was in New York Comic Con. What do you mean see me in 2023? Can we see each other sooner than that? How about you just move to LA? Does that work? Do you just want to fucking move, or do you want to live in the middle of the country forever? Cool. Good talk. Sweet. Um, what else is going on in here right now? Paul Denuzio in the super chat. You can tell the truth. Christian Harlock kicked you under the table one too many times, and he couldn't handle it uh, when you kicked back or blame Jake somehow. Yes, it was both the kicking and Jake. It was for sure all of those things. Um, no, it was not. It was... It was really what I'm saying it is. It was time to move on. Christian needs to focus on uh, SEN. Collider needs to continue to soar and needs to have new blood and strength and energy put there. And Christian's energy has to go to his own network right now. So that means that it couldn't be at this moment, you know? Um, so that's just what it is. Vinny in the chat, original 151. Vinny Ray, baby. It's not really Vinny Ray. He came solo this time, guys, but we're happy to have him, as always. Uh, Billy Belford in the super chat. Which should I watch first, Shit's Creek or Succession? I watched the first two episodes of Hap and Leonard. I haven't seen that yet, but I was hearing about it from CM Punk. And now I really want to watch it. Shit's Creek and Succession, obviously, I've seen every episode of. It depends on what you're looking for. 
Uh, Succession has funny moments, but it's not a straight up comedy. Schitt's Creek is like a laugh out loud, crying or laughing so hard comedy. And Succession is like a better Billions, which is Billions is great. But I think that Succession right now, um, if you start binging, you could catch up by the finale. Schitt's Creek, I don't know when it comes back on, but you've got like five seasons. So probably Succession. Brandon says, I'm in LA like every other weekend. You're the super busy celeb here. Haha, <laughs> see you soon. I hope I see you soon. Uh, actually, though. So, you know, you've got my uh, information. Also, like, why can't I be in New York for Comic-Con? What the fuck? I want to be there. Jake Yacoveta in the Super Chat. I'm not doing this with you tonight, Paul. LOL. But Jake, it kind of seems like you are. Kind of seems like that's exactly what you're doing. You're going back and forth. Can you tell us if you're one of the 10 Schmodown managers post-nuke? Megan, am I allowed to answer that? I don't know if I'm allowed to answer that, but, like, come on. Do you think I'm going anywhere? Let's be real. Susie East in Orlando. Totally. Shit's Creek, then. I need the yucks. Okay, Billy. And get those yucks. Um, I love the boys giving each other crap in the Super Chat. It's LOL. Brandy, I do, too. Anything I need to know before going to the Joker tonight? Okay, Carter. So we talked about Collider Live. And I can continue to answer questions about Collider Live if you guys have them. I'm happy to talk about it. But I do want to talk about the Joker because I did my brief review on it. Did it under a five-minute review. Non-spoiler. I'm going to stay non-spoiler here. So please be respectful in the chat right now, guys. Or if you're watching later in the comments, this is still non-spoiler because I'm sure 90% of the people in here have not seen Joker yet. So we don't want to spoil it for anybody. But I can take questions about it and I can talk about it a little bit. For anybody who didn't watch my review, I loved the movie. I thought it was fucking incredible. It was ridiculously challenging emotionally. Um, the performances are top notch. Joaquin should be nominated, if not win. And so that's my jumping off point. But you guys asked me your questions. Super chat though from Saudi. Okay, Jake and Paul, stop it before you even start. Brandy, you might need to put them on time out here as well. Again, sorry, Roxy. I love that. Uh, I have not checked out Kim's Convenience yet, Jack, Jake, but I have heard people talking about this. Jonathan Donsell says Joker was freaking awesome. I loved it. Saul in the chat right now, guys. I will not be respectful in this chat or any other chat for that matter. Why is that? You should always be respectful, Saul. Um, I'm going in 45 minutes, says Cutter. I'm surprised by the mixed critic scores. So much buzz out of Venice. Gannon, I'm not surprised because it's a tough movie. It's a tough watch. Nobody walks away feeling great. You feel icky as shit. And so a lot of people don't like to feel icky. So I get why it's not getting tens across the board. But it's a brilliant movie. And I don't know how somebody could say otherwise. Uh, although art is subjective, so. Just warning you now, the comment section on Collider Live would be a bit dramatic from now on, but good luck. I A, why will it be a bit dramatic? Ugh, and there's nothing I can do to help that anyway. Are you surprised by Joker's Rotten Tomato score? Boochtron, I don't even know what it is. Let's check it out. Rotten Tomatoes, Joker. Oh boy, oh boy, it's at 69. Uh, I would think it'd be a little higher than that, probably in the 70s, um, because of the people that probably don't like what it stands for and all of the incel drama and all of that not-so-good stuff that's going on. For once, I'm early and have actually seen some movie early. Saudi, what did you think? Tell me more. Phoenix or Ledger, or will it take more time to understand who is better? I think, Austin, I need more time. I don't know if it's a who's better. Ledger's performance to me is just flawless. Um, and Phoenix's was really incredible too. They're two different Jokers. They really are. Um, wow. I don't know how to start comparing that. Is that Saul or some bloke from Chetfordshire? Uh, probably both, Billy. That's freaking awesome. Lloyd dancing in the super chat. What, what? Just saw Joker. Amazing. I'm so glad to hear that. I agree. Saul the ginger says Paul. Totally. Uh, you have a picture of Flash in your bedroom. Is that the wall of shame? Some things you shouldn't be the fastest man in the world. Oh my God, rich but not wealthy. I've literally never had somebody make that joke before, but that's amazing. Yeah, hopefully uh, nobody's too fast in that department in the bedroom. No, I just love the Flash, and that's for my brother. So there's like 117 things I want to ask you tonight. So what do you got? Happy to, happy to answer them. 
Is the Joker humanized, says Ivan. I don't think he's humanized. I mean, he is a human. The Joker is human, right? He's not He's not from a different planet. He does not have uh, superpowers. He's not... So, so he's a human being. Um, but he's not humanized in a way that's like, oh, like, oh, guys, now I understand why he does these things. Not like that at all. Not for me, at least. I like the new Joker, says Christian. Me too. Uh, totally. I mean, I don't like him, but I like the movie. Problem is so many people reacted to Joker before seeing it. Sean, I agree with that. I know a few people. Yusuf says, which Joker would win in a fist fight between Phoenix and Ledgers? I think in a fist fight, Ledgers would win. I don't understand why people say that Robert De Niro was barely in it. His scene was great. Were great. Yeah, they were. I mean, he's not in it that long, Jonathan. But when he's in it, he's unbelievable. Because people hate change and they'll turn everything into a competition, says IA. That's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. I'm just going to try to make the best show possible. And that's all I care about. He was so good. OMG, says Christian. Yes. Thoughts on the Christian thing, says Charlie. You're talking about Harloff and live. Um, I spent the first long bit of this video talking about it. But if you, if you have specific questions, feel free to ask those. I listened to this one review that said there were too many leaps of logic in the movie. Bootstrap, I didn't feel that way. I did not feel that way. Saudi says, Joaquin disappeared in the role. Some of his choices were so subtle, but still so clear as day. The descent to madness throughout the movie completely. Huge Mark Maron fan says, Sean, now he was not in the movie much. Uh, so I guess YouTube decided it doesn't want to notify me about your videos anymore. Chris Ryan and Lovitz, no, that's brutal. Saul says, eh, maybe I should just shut up. I'm already being bullied by your precious rock stars again. Saul, no, what are you talking about? Say what you mean to say. MK Songbird, do you think uh, people are more disturbed by the violence in Joker as compared to something like John Wick 3 because of the way the violence is portrayed? Um, I think because we know what the Joker becomes and what kind of villain he is, it's different than John Wick. And so maybe that's why they're more perturbed or disturbed. Do you think any families will accidentally take their children to Joker? Carl's, I really hope not. It's definitely not family appropriate. Tony Kerr, my favorite skateboarder in the chat. Hey, Roxy, just left my Joker showing. I saw your video. It was such a brilliant movie. Joaquin was amazing. I'm so glad you liked it. Yes, it is amazing. Hit that like button if you forgot, yo. Jordan, straight up. Thank you, my friend. I seriously have like 10 friends going with me tonight to Joker. So excited. We paid IMAX prices. Is, is it worth IMAX? Cutter, I definitely think it is. I think, I think it's so good, guys. Roxy, my mom and me finished watching 13 seasons, 13 reasons why, you know, definitely did not like what they did with Bryce. Preston, I agree. What the fuck? I blame Gravity One says, well, Oscar Best Picture aren't necessarily known for being particular feel-good movies walking out. I don't think this is going to be Best Picture. I do think that he will be nominated, but I do not think it will be Best Picture. Uh, yes, I have seen five kids with a mom watching Joker when I was watching it. Christian, oy. Joker got a 14A rating here in Canada. Was surprised by that. What is that? I don't know that Canadian rating. A family with two kids was in my Joker theater since Dark Jedi Night. Oy, guys, no. Where are your Halloween decorations? Andrew, I don't know. I need some help. This isn't new with films, Roxy. Remember what happened with Jodie Foster and President Reagan with Taxi Driver? No, I don't, Eric. What happened? Um, Abdu says, when is Jared coming on? Which Jared? Haben? Uh, Susie Easton, thoughts on This Is Us so far? I love that show. It's so good. Roxy, that I respect your reviews too. Too many critics today are reviewing the movie not based on story and characters, but on politics and race. But Eric, that does happen a lot. Um, I usually don't go to IMAX for Joker and Gemini Man. I might. Sean, I'm seeing Gemini Man very soon. I think on Monday. I'll let you guys know what I think. Brandy's loving This Is Us. Yeah, me too. Saudi says, visually and score-wise, Joker is stunning as well. I think some, yeah, the music was amazing. Amazing. I think some of the more realistic aspects of it will make people freak out about the violence compared to unrealistic John Wick. That's very true. Also, um... Let's see, Sean Quinn. I know in Ireland the ratings are different. I, all I know is 
G and PG, PG-13, R, uh, those are the ones I know. Uh, the guy who shot President Reagan in early 80s was obsessed with Jodie Foster and De Niro's character in Taxi Driver. Oh, interesting. Baby Derek, love you too. Thank you, Matthew Peterson, for saying my hair looks good. Carl's Mark Maron's part is very small. Very, very, very small. That is the truth. Uh, but it's always nice to see him. Bachelor in Paradise and Dean, you guys said you would have them. Oh, uh, Abdu, I don't know. I, I'm not sure when. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, movies don't cause violence, just like video games and music. I feel you on that, Adam. Tony Current. I do feel like I didn't get all of it, though. Also, jo uh, spoilers for Joker or no. Tony, no spoilers for Joker. We're doing spoiler free right now. Thank you for asking. Thank you for the super chat, love. But you don't feel like you got it all. That's interesting. I'm curious what parts you didn't get. Does Joker do a podcast with Mark Maron? What, Sean? People think Batman is in Joker. He is not in it. LOL. Christian, I don't know anybody who thinks that. Saul says, Paul, darling, there's a lot I could say right now. But color blindness is probably a serious issue for you, and I just feel bad. Why? What happened? What are you talking about? I still drink with you even though you're a ginger. Oh. I was like, oh, what's happening here? We're talking about hair color. How do you have the energy to keep doing this after your long day? Do you hate sleep? Cody, and I still have to go after this. I only put these on because I'm wearing a skirt tonight and was wearing a skirt all day, and uh, I cannot wear a skirt sitting like this, or you guys would see more money than you're paying to see um and <laughs> what a weird way of phrasing that and uh so i change into these but i'm i'm going out after this my one of my best friends from home is in town and so i'm going to meet him for dinner um and then i have to come back and i have hours of work to still do so sleep is not for a very long time joker might be the first true horror comic book movie dark jedi night i said that too i said i think that this is a horror movie I don't know how everybody else feels about it, but that is how I feel. I saw Joker Night. It was amazing, says Ryan. I'm glad you liked it. Mark says, in Quebec, Joker is 13 plus, so someone under 13 can see the movie if they are accompanied by an adult. Hmm. Sean Quinn says, Mark Maron had an amazing podcast. I know. It is great. Uh, no rest for the wicked, Adam. So true. Are you going to do a spoiler review of Joker Sunday or wait till next week? Jonathan, I, I don't know. Should I do one? You guys tell me. Hi, Roxy. Really excited for Joker. I love media and that examines terrible people. Jordan, I kind of love that, too. You think it's a horror, not more of a thriller? Preston, I think kind of both, actually. A little bit of both. Views would increase. YouTube might ban you. As you know, if I do spoilers and I say spoilers. Alan Rousseau in the super chat. In the super chat. In the super chat. What, what? Here's something to help with the outrageous drink prices. I'm sure y'all pay out there. Alan, that does help. I appreciate it. Although, when you guys super chat me, the money never goes to drinks. It goes to my laptop. It goes towards trying to fund my film. It goes towards paying my rent. But not to booze. Don't. That's a luxury that we can't do. Uh, let's see. Um, Brandy says, one of you should do wraps for $10 super chats again. I would. That's funny. Just came back from watching Joker. It was good, says Ronnie. H7, I'm glad you liked it. Joker is a true villain movie, says Jonathan Donsell. I agree with that. Bianca says, what, what are you going to watch on Disney Plus? Literally every single show they've announced so far I'm going to watch. So we'll see how I do in that area. Saul says, Stray, you asked on the show the other day, do you think you could ever really forgive someone? Care to elaborate? I have the unfortunate amount of experiences about such things, and I'm curious. No, I'm just wondering, like, if somebody is ever your arch nemesis or enemy, like we see in the media with, like, two people that can't stand each other, like Taylor Swift and a Katy Perry, like, even if they come and they find common ground and they do make up, are they ever really seriously cool? Like, do you ever really end up loving that person if, if you really had that big of an issue with each other? Not, I'm not talking about a one-time fight or anything like that, but... I don't know. I just think it's hard to really, truly move forward. Not not saying forgive, because you can definitely forgive, but it's that forgive but never forget, always keeping you on guard part of things. Oh, God, Roxy, if Joker does well, this opens the gate for villain movies. Preston, do you like that or you don't like that? A spoiler video on Sunday would be pretty cool for Joker. Okay, Jonathan, I'll definitely think about it. Jordan says, I'd buy you drinks all night. Thanks, friend. Uh, just saw Joker says Carlos. What'd you think? 
off your recommendations. I started Fleabag. Sean, do you like it? Straight Bible book in it. Baby, what's that mean? When are you going to watch The Matrix? Adam, I need to. Whenever. Sometime. I don't know. Don't know how I feel about the Lizzie McGuire show. Love the original as a kid, but I'm but am gonna watch it. Cutter, yeah, same. This movie is crazy. I love it, says Carlos. Hell yeah. I wanna see Riddler style of Joker movie OMG. Old Christian, that'd be crazy. You gotta do spoiler free. I mean uh, you gotta do a spoiler review, says Tony. Okay. Just glad I still do watch longs. Eric, I don't think so. What YouTube movie critics you watch? Bianca, my friends. I really just check out my friends stuff. So also I could argue that it's easier to love someone after you've hated them and and then if you've never felt anything like that before. I do think that love and hate are pretty close to each other emotion-wise. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you should do a live watch along of Matrix. That would be awesome. I don't know how I'd do that, though. Screw Pennywise. Joker is and has always been the scariest clown ever. Dark Jedi Knight. I completely agree with that. Christian leaving minds of Rick leaving The Walking Dead. Not dead, but still alive in an other area. Weird comparison, but came across my mind, Jeremy. Interesting. Uh, I do have to say that after Rick watched, left The Walking Dead, The Walking Dead had this new life, and I love the show so much. It's different, but I love it. I gotta say, it's bizarre how people were laughed through this movie. Yeah, Carlos, people were laughing through my screening, too, at weird times. Like, awkward laughter. Like, <laughs> What do you think about the Harley Quinn movie? Um, Birds of Prey and the Fabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. I'm excited. I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited. It's hard to truly hate someone unless you at one point care deeply enough for them. Otherwise, you wouldn't care. Paul, that's very true. Jake says, Orlando. Yeah. Uh, Saul says, I've hated people so much it was practically like loving them. I guess. Kind of. Mm. I thought I spilled, but I didn't. Awkward laughter, indeed. There were so many cringe moments. Yes, Sadie. Yes. Uh, you excited for Crisis event? Adam, of course. A woman brought her baby and people chanted for her to leave. Tony, that's so awkward. Can't bring your baby, yo. No, no, no. Hey, I'm very cautiously optimistic about the idea of villain movies. There is material to mine. And uh, there, I'm not... I'm just not up to it right now. Okay, that's fine. I'll be in Orlando, says Jordan. That's awesome. Love, marry, or kill DC edition. Gal Gadot, Margot Robbie, and Melissa Benoist. I think I marry Gal. I kill Melissa, and I bang Margot Robbie. It's tough, though. They're all amazing. I love those women. That goes the other way as well, says Paul. True. Happy for you to get more opportunities on live. I hope the new and old audience get used to it. It's Collider Live, not Christian Harloff Live. Very true, Jeremy. Very true. Uh, yeah. I had like seven teenage girls around 70 to 18, two rows ahead of me. It looked like they didn't know what movie they came to watch. Sorry, that's funny. That is funny. People somehow sneak babies into theaters all the time. I don't get that. It's such a weird choice. There is something that Melissa, she is cutie. Yeah, Eric, she is. She definitely is. Um, yeah, Adam says I was in Chicago for the slap heard around the world. That was killer, Roxy. Oh, I feel so bad for Ben and his back issues, guys, if you haven't been paying attention. He's been in the hospital and all this stuff. Poor guy. How does Joaquin measure up against the other Joker actors? Yeah, Matthew Gold, that's what I was talking about a little earlier. It's too soon to compare him to some people. I just, you know... I don't know. I gotta watch again. He was amazing. All I know is he was amazing. I know you don't pay attention to wrestling, but do you watch AEW? I do pay attention a little bit, and no, I did not watch. But I heard all about it. Ref is, um, what horror films and or TV series are you going to watch this Halloween? Uh, I've, I haven't, I've haven't seen The Shining all the way through yet. Oh, wow, you have to watch that. Um, all the classic ones, and whatever you guys tell me to. Maybe we do make a list together. Jake Yakovetta in the Super Chat, what, what? Will Schmodown keep renting Collider Studio or film at the new SEN spot? Fernanda said, still here for now. Understand if you can't answer. The only reason I can't answer, Jake, is because I don't know. Here's what I do know. Um, I don't think the current SEN location is big enough to film a Schmodown. I have not been there yet, but based off of 
what I've heard. I don't think they could film that there. I do think that they will be renting Collider space for at least the indefinite future, but I don't know the answers to this. I don't know if they know the answers to that. So um, that's the most I can give you right now. Uh, still consider Cameron Monaghan the second TV live action Joker. He, I love Cameron Monaghan. For me, the Joker was the scariest movie I've seen this year. I got chills during the finale. Did you see, did you have a similar reaction? Christ, Christoph Davis. Yeah. The last half hour of the movie is like, grab yourself crazy. Ah, like that. So, will weed make Joker funnier or make you paranoid? Charlie, I definitely don't think it'll make it funnier. There's nothing that makes it, like, actually funny. The finale was off hooks is Tony. Yes, completely. Would you abolish all trailers if it no way affected the theater chain's bottom line? They ruin movies. No, I love trailers, baby Derek. I really do. It's not a true villain, but Red Hood would be a great movie. Yeah, that would be an excellent movie. I agree. I'm officially an author, says Anthony Smith. That's amazing. How? Eric says, Roxy Christian Harloff becoming Vince McMahon or Schmodown. It's a lot of work. I understand it's a lot of work. He had to move on. Exactly. Exactly. He's starting his own thing. It's a lot. Um, guys, I will say I had two thumbs down on the video and now I have one. Does that mean somebody took back their thumbs down? Pretty epic if we did that. Initial D's in the super chat. What, what? Hi, Roxy. I hope you host Collider Live some days. Um, let the people know. I think that that hopefully is what's happening, but tweet that at Fernandez uh, and let them let know that because that's how they're going to figure it out, I think. Roxy, do you watch Black Lightning CW show? Yes, I do, Preston. Um, what's the worst movie you've seen this year, says Adam? Goldfinch. Oh. Loved you on Rumor Mill, even though the point system is really confusing. Jeremy, Josh does such a good job with that show. So good. Did they just hit dislike again? Ronnie, yeah, I must have informed them that they hit dislike. What a bummer. I should have just kept my mouth shut. Did you see a comedy as a palate cleanser after Joker? No, I should have, though, Ivan. I definitely should have. I hope he has success. It becomes a national success selling out stadiums. We can say we were there for Schmodown in the beginning. Eric, true. Very true. Um, Salsa Stry, I have you never liked or loved someone you initially did not like? Did you notice there's a bit more depth to the relationship? Uh, yeah, of course. Of course. I, Saul, I don't think you get what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying that you could never dislike somebody and then like them. I'm just wondering if Vin Diesel and The Rock will ever actually be boys or if they'll just be civil. I don't know. It's really hard to, like, to predict what their relationship would be. And I highly recommend The Goldfinch book. Yeah, Tony, that's what I hear. That is what I hear. Roxy, I love you on Collider Live. Sad to hear about Christian. But I know he is on the other things. And you, Makuga, Darina, Riley, Cody, and Alex will hold down the fort for sure. Thank you, Nick Bascom. I appreciate that. Hell yeah, we will. Have you seen Split in some ways? That was way more horror than Joker. Saudi was asking Brandy that. But I'll answer, yes, I did see it. They're both kind of horror. I think Rock and Vin should settle it in the ring. Eric, that'd be crazy. Uh... Dark Knight, Dark Jedi Knight says, Rajah Ghoul, but what about him? Saul says, you know what? I'm in a weird place tonight. I'm sorry. Never mind. Saul, what are you sorry for? Don't apologize. You're asking, no, like, I think we're just having a conversation. Uh, Zeno R says, instead of another villain origin movie, I'd like to see an indie comedy or straight up horror movie based on DC character for this DC black label. Okay. We got a lot of time in the future and a lot of movies that are going to be coming out. Without Christian, I'm almost terrified of the monumental levels of nonsense from unsupervised you and Josh. I blame gravity. I think that will be awesome. Uh, what 2019 horror movies you recommend, Bianca? Oh my god, I don't even remember what came out this year. Ask me about specific ones, I'll tell you what I saw. I did not see Midsommar. It's one of the only ones I didn't. I didn't love It Chapter 2. It was it was good, just not great. Cutter says, alright, I'm going to go pick up my friend. And head to the theater. Have fun. Appreciate it. Uh, do you want a Joker sequel, Tony? I don't think uh, I don't think Joaquin really does franchises or sequels. But I would watch it if it happened. 
Oh, we said in the super chat. Well, what? Let's hear for Kite Man. Hell yeah. Kite Man. Uh, just got out of Joker. I cried three times. Mod, wow. Really? Crazy. I feel like when Paul Walker died, the cast started to fall apart. Jonathan, I don't know if they fell apart, but I get why it would really seriously affect them. I don't think we'll ever really know the relationship between The Rock and Vin Diesel. Preston, I don't think we will either. I do not think we will either. Guys, only 10 minutes left. Don't forget... Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. We're trying to get me to 10,000 subscribers. Where are we at now? 5.3. So we're making our way, guys. We're slowly but surely getting there. Uh, and also, if you have, are having a decent month, super chat if you can. Really appreciate whatever you guys can do. If you have any other questions on Collider Live, the Joker, this weekend, whatever it is you want to talk about, I'm here for it for the next 10 minutes. Nick Gonzalez says he loves me and I love you back, baby. What's up, dude? You good? Says Preston. Yeah, Saul. So how are you doing, honey? What's going on? Talk to us. We care about you. Uh, Preston says, hope you feel better to Saul. Agreed. Agreed. Did you see the Birds of Prey Friends spoof posters? You know how I did not. Boutron said, can you do me a favor and say, Archie Apolago? You and Josh said it wrong on TV Talk a while back. I don't know what it is, what that is. Archie Pelago? I don't know what that is. Um, Rajah Gould movie, Je Dark Jedi Knight. Mm, we could. We could. Roxy, where can I find TV Talk? Um, on Clutter Factory, I think. Podcast. I guess. I don't know. Uh, show, ask Josh McCougan on Twitter. I, but I think that's where. Take care of yourself, dude. Paul says to Saul. Oh, Paul and Saul. Uh, Archipelago. What is it? Uh, okay. Hope you're good, Saul, says Jake. What are your thoughts on Todd Phillips' comments? Are you talking about the comedy stuff? I agree and disagree with him on his comedy. It's more PC than ever, but not dead. Yeah, I think that too. It's a little harder to be funny, but it doesn't mean that you can't still do it. Do you think Joker will get a screenplay nom at the Oscars? Tony, I do not. It would be for Adapted, right? I do not think so. Uh, Lloyd Nance with the Super Chat. What, what? Have you seen Casino Royale yet? It's a global James Bond on Saturday. Perfect day to watch it. No, I have not. Maybe I should. A two-faced courtroom drama would be interesting. Wow, Jonathan. Two-faced. I would say a Scarface movie in the style of old school. Uh, what are you talking about right now, though, Galagos? Just what you want to see from new movies? Just like Joker loved it. It wasn't the, the gore or the violence, but realistic depiction that made it unsettling. And I love every second. Very important movie, says Baker Ryder. Interesting take on it. An archipelago is a cluster of islands, like the island around Hawaii. Oh, cool. I don't think I said it because I don't know that word. So, arco. So, somebody wrote it out. Adam says, archipelago. Pelago. Archipelago. Okay. Uh, what CW show are you looking forward to most this season, Preston? I guess Flash, but it's the last season of Arrow, so hopefully they do a good job. Crap chats, not cats. Brandy, super cats. That's funny. It's Roxy's YouTube live streams, her new Periscope. Um, apparently Periscope's still a thing, but yeah, kind of, Nolan Barth. Also, welcome. Appreciate you being here. I just joined the live stream, live stream and saw a bunch of folks naming Batman villains as movies. LOL. Galagos. Cool. Yeah, you kind of caught on quick. Mason Barr, the Super Chat. What, what? Think the Patriots will go 16-0. and 0. I think they will and lose to my Chiefs in the AFC Championship. Whew, that would be such a tough, tough fucking look. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, looking good so far. Go to Amazon to get them, though. You're not interested, but I'll take you being happy for me. Anthony, huh? What are you talking about? Oh, stop it, all you. Saul, we just care about you. 
Is Stacey Howard the most underrated lady Schmodown player? She's the most underrated Schmodown player, for sure, Jeremy. And if I can in the nuke, I'll take her. I've been saying it for years. What actress would you cast to play Catwoman? Mm, with Rob Pattinson, Scott, myself. Um, I'm not sure. Who do you guys want to cast? Jake Yakovetta in the Super Chat. Well, what? Jesus Christ. No, Mason. Play nice. You don't know that, Jake. You don't know. Vinny Santoro, Last Child, Most Underrated Eros from a Song. All right. My husband and I love you. Saw Joker too. Mike, shout out to you and your husband. Uh, what would you think of Joker? Who wins The Rock or Groot from Guardians in a death battle? I think The Rock. Would you rather be a movie star or a TV star? Both, Adam. But TV is where my, my whole heart is. Paul the Newsio, here's a super cat for you. It's funny, I love you. As a fellow Mass, well, have you ever been to Western Mass? Yes, Nick. When I was younger, I forget where we drove, somewhere near Springfield. I was in a barn I made out with a guy. Long time ago. Alan Rousset, favorite ask. Darina said that Emma was a fencer. Could you find out which weapon she com which weapon she competed in? I was on my university team for four seasons. Who? Emma Fife, Alan? I didn't know that. Saudi says, Super Cats. Thanks, Brandy. Love that. But we're a bunny guy. Guys, we're a bunny stream with the bunny raid. Super cats, bunny raid. Super cats, bunny raid. My husband loved the Joker, but I was so scared, says Mike. I feel that. It was scary. If you were in Springfield, I hope you left fast, says Boochtron. Now it's a super cat raid. A super cat raid. Guys, I am only here for three more minutes, which means I'm going to give a shout out very soon to anybody who wants them. But any last super chats, comments, thumbs up, uh, whatever you got, questions, get them in now. Hannah Rose, RJ Slay all day, girl. Thanks, baby. Hyped over the Uncut Gems trailer. Uh, I didn't see it. I blame Gravity. I just realized Roxy's a part of Collider. The other week I saw a Dune Collider video interview and kept thinking, is that Roxy in the interview? Ripple, yeah, that's me. What was it with David Dosmachian? Um, dudes, good night, Roxy. Good night, Preston. Let's, you're the best, Susie. Bunny Ray, baby. All right, saying good night to people. Almer said in the super chat, yeah, I'm a fife. I competed in Epi. Epi. I was curious which weapon she used. I don't know. I'll try to find out if I can. Uh, good night to Jake Yacovetta, Vipul Dashi, Dave Velarde, Vinny Santoro, Big Preston, Tony Current, Sean Quinn, Baby Derek, Jeremy Miller, I Blame Gravity 1, Hey Craig, NFL Caleb 22, Zeno Hour, Adam Siri, Chris Rantlovich in the Super Chat, What What, Jordan Rivero, Alan Rousset, Daniel McConkey, Ben Rayner, Ace Club 96, Mike B., Baby Derek, Mike Smith, Jordan Rivero, Andy Thomas, Saudi, Saul. Do you really think you're as woke as Kevin always says you are? Saul, are you watching the Tomorrow Show? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Ronnie H7, Brandy, Sean Quinn, Random Rock and Real Riffs and Reviews, Scott Lacey, Bootstron, Paul Denuzio, my love, Richard Fearing, Ivan Soto, uh, all of the people in here, really appreciate you guys being here. Love you lots. Uh, Jake Yacoveta in the Super Chat. Another great stream. Rubber Johnny. Oh, yeah, that's the, the thing that RJ stands for. We've gone full circle. Um, Brandy, Roxy's always woke. Appreciate that, my love. I'll see you guys very soon. Keep on watching Collider Live. I swear to you, we're going to make the best show uh, that we possibly can, and it will be great. We'll do it together. Again, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, are you live tomorrow? I'll be on Screen Junkies tomorrow morning and then DC Movie News tomorrow afternoon. So I'll see you guys there. Uh, we'll be definitely talking about Joker if you want to hear more on that. Um, good night. See you soon.